blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Reliable words from God and Mary. How reliable.
reliable are our words? How often do we keep our promises? Many times in the past, God has promised to bring joy and happiness and freedom to his people. He kept his word and promise in a way surprising by far what people expected. He sent his own son as one of us, God's son, yes, but also the son of a human mother. A few days from now, on Christmas, we shall celebrate how God gave us Jesus. Today we hear an angel announcing to Mary that God would keep his word through her, and Mary gave her word that she would cooperate with God's plan. Like her and with Jesus, may we also say our yes to God here in this Eucharist. The first reading, a house that will stand forever. David proposes to build for God the house of a temple, but God chooses the house of the dynasty of David from which a savior would be born for his people. The second reading, God shows himself in Jesus Christ. With Paul, let us praise God who remained hidden for a long time, but now, in his wisdom, has shown himself in Jesus Christ. This is the good news to be preached to all. The Gospel reading, Your will for me be done. God's plans are fulfilled where people, in all humility like Mary, receive God on his own terms. Please stand.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to last and life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture, and from the care of the flock, to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to whom, to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the 
prophetic writings and according to the command of the eternal God made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ be glory forever and ever amen, amen. the word of the Lord thanks be to God Alleluia to a virgin, betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the, ch the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. Good evening. So today we encounter what we call in Latin Fiat Voluntas Tua. And that is, may your will be done. Let it be done to me according to your will. Beloved brothers and sisters, it is very, very necessary and very important for us to meditate around Mary's response. May it be done to me according to your will. The, 
the meeting point between God's plan and our own plan is the it is defined by our prayer life. She prayed, let it be done to me according to your will. That is one of the greatest prayers we have ever heard from the scriptures. Let it be done to me according to your will. Realize what happened in the life of David. David had a different plan and God came to make his own plan known. Every plan of God is good for every humanity, human, every human being. Remember that Jeremiah in Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans for good, to give you a good future. It is not a bad one, but a future that is filled with hope. And if we have ever come across the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verse 28, the Bible stated that everything or all things work out unto good for those who love God. Which means his plan for us is always good. Sometimes we have a real conflict in our prayer life and the standard of living. Number one is fear. I am so much afraid, I do not know what to do. Then the other one is virtue. The greatest and highest of all the virtues is what we have seen in the prayer of Our Lady. Her humility, abandonment to the will of God, submission to the will of God. We are in fear and therefore we don't even know what to do and we do not see God before and behind us. And the Bible stated, nothing is impossible before him. Why? Because he has a plan. Every plan of God is solid, authentic, real, for good. Because he is so loving, merciful. And he does everything methodically to bring about his own will. What is your plan for the Christmas? Because many, many people don't have a plan. And that causes tension, conflict, brings about fear. David had his own plan, but God's plan came. And made David to realize how caring this God is. I will make your house to stand. I will make you a house. If God wishes to make you a house, which means he has established you. A house. Meaning that he has pillars right inside the ground, very solid, with concrete. If God wants to make me a house, then he has established me, standing me upon the unshakable foundation. 
That foundation is Jesus Christ. Up in this year, that foundation was made as the creation of humanity, the creation of the world. And David didn't know what to do. He was not moving according to the will of God. So he thought that his own plan was the best. Now God came and said, no, abandon your own plan. For I know the plan I have for you. Most often, we labor in vain. And we don't allow God to make a way, create a highway, even in the desert for us. And we are toiling in vain. How do I react when I am sick? I want that sickness to go. But we do not even think about whether that illness will be to the glory of God. Realize that when Lazarus was so sick and died, and Jesus was informed, they, they told Jesus, he has died. And Jesus said, okay, let's go and visit our friend of Nazareth in, 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 in Bethany. This death, according to Jesus, in John chapter 11, he says, this death will be to the glory of God. So whatever I am doing, is it the will of God? Will it give God glory in my life? Mary surrendered to the will of God. Sometimes we don't want to surrender. And then that act gave her grace that we call favor. You are highly favored. I don't want to talk about favor because the other time we talked about it. Am I favored? Yes, I am. I am not an animal. I am not a tree. But I am an image of God, a likeness of God. Therefore, I am favored. So he who favored me, I will always tell him, may your will be done in my life. Authentic following is what we call that. Absolute prayer that pierces the heavens and gets to the throne of God. I am praying, O oh Lord, that you may make my son to pass his exams. May your will be done that he may have the ability to study well. At the end of our prayers, at night or even in the morning, do we say, may your will be done? And in the prayer of our Father, if we say, your will be done, or thy kingdom come, the kingdom of God means the will. Do we mean that? You know, sometimes people don't mean it. If it is coming from me, everything becomes natural. David submitted to the will of God. And his kingdom was secured. That kingdom is the kingdom that Jesus Christ came to establish forever. So we are coming close to inaugurate the anniversary of the birth of the kingdom that will be forever. Am I part of that kingdom? How will I make myself part of the kingdom? 
But if I am fighting that this kingdom will be pulled down, then I am not part of the kingdom. But, above all, I want us to realize that he has established us as a house. Because he created us in his own image and likeness. How do I carry the image of God and likeness of God in me? Well, that image is glorious. It is not any type of image. We need to respect that and offer that image back to God. This is the time of worship. This is the time of adoration. Uh, Father, well, thank you so much. He, he, he leveled a lot yesterday and today. Decorating and making everything to be very nice, ready to hand over to God and say, this is my Christmas gift to you through my heart. May your will be done in my life. The type of life I am living is it the will of God? The way I treat my wife, is it the will of God? No. The way I communicate to my children, is it the will of God? The way I carry myself, is it the will of God? Let the will of God be done. And may we, in every circumstance of our lives, be ready to submit to God without fear. Realize that the angel said, Fear not, do not be afraid. You are highly favored. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Beloved brothers and sisters, may we pray that the, that such a glory will envelop us. That we may no longer think about our selfish interests, but make the will of God to happen in our different lives. And every action that we are taking in this life, may that be to the glory of God and his will. And if the will of God is done in our lives, then the kingdom he told David will be forever has been established. May the kingdom of the Lord be established in your heart, in your life, in your family, in everything that you do, and may you be favored in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May we stand. I believe in one God. I believe in one God, the Father and Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, for our sake was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God of love, you look with favor on your servant, Mary. Look with favor on the prayers we now bring to you as we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the church and civil leaders, that their words and their example lead all to Christ the Savior, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For parents and grandparents, that their faith and love be their greatest gift to their children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For children, particularly those in poor or homeless families, that they feel Christ's love to those around them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For expectant mothers, that they give birth safely and care for their children joyfully. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all gathered here around Christ in his holy place, that the mystery of Christmas lead us no greater love of God and of neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the sick, sick in the parish written in our bulletin, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers for healing for prisoners, Rachel Rizzo, John Rosensky, also for Lenora Getz, for Don Hobbs, for Shane, for Mike, for Debbie Buckler, also for Prisa Salcido and Silvestri. And all those whose names are written in our church bulletin, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal and special intentions. As we continue to pray for also all four souls in purgatory, and for the souls of Bernard Barnitschi, and also for her Trudis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us here in Susanville, Herlo, and Doyle, that we all be protected from this deadly virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And all these prayers and intentions we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 This be seated.
that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled within his power, with his power, the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his, his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with all the angels and angels, with truth and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the knee, and it's in a covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we will proclaim your death to the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one but not of the Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together we practice our Pope Jaime, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, Virgin Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throne him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, without a say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. That peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. The body and blood of Christ to bring us to last and life. For those watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion at Mass, Amen. please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priests at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. Oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Amen.
Christmas Mass schedule. Vigil Mass, December the 24th, at 3 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Midnight Mass at 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. No Mass on December 28th and December the 29th. The 2021 calendars are available in the best view. Please take one when offered. Thank you. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the fifth day of our salvation grows ever nearer, so we may press forward on the world England to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you. Ooh. Mm -hmm.